Hi everybody, welcome back to Canadian Chums This and That. We will be talking about these. Not this or that, but these. The Walking Dead Evolution cards. I previously just did a episode about the Netflix season of Stranger Things and I was not happy with them at all. Uh, yeah, these are the Walking Dead Evolution series that just came out. These cards are a lot better. They got nice, crisp. Tops did a good job on these. A lot better job than the Stranger Things cards. These look like they're a little higher quality. And fortunately, I got the set. Uh, wasn't cheap to do. I should just eBay it. But the same thing. It talks about all parts through the through the seasons. And uh, this isn't just typically season one, season two, and so on. This is actually all the seasons up to date as you flip through them. It kind of just blends it all together. Poor thing what happened to that lad on that one episode. I'm not going to spoil anything, but anybody that's seen it, man, that sucked. They just kind of took that a little too far. Anyways, back into it. Now you may be wondering how come sometimes the evolutions are different colors. Well, apparently these are called mud. When they're that color, you know, mud color. And these are just your regular card. I think I got a few in here that are a little different. Uh, so apparently you can collect the mud, the regular, and there's blood and black and green, um, which would take quite some time and a good bit of money to try to grab them all up. Uh, yeah, this card set's really cool. Really cool. Uh, definitely worth having if you're a Walking Dead fan. Uh, now it comes with... As you can see here, the Legion says, that's a mud card, that's a regular card. I unfortunately had to mix up different cards to make the set. Um, yeah, here's a green uh, Rosita uh, card. Now they do have subsets, I'll swing it around here. You got your Walker subset, and you got your Allegiances subsets. Flip the page, more Allegiances. And, and, as you can see, mud, green, they have special, special numbers on them. So this one is 17 to 99. It's hard to see with the view of... Anyways, yeah, they got some of them got the special numbers on them. There's one there. Oh, where'd you go? There it is. 5499. I think you got the idea anyways, but yeah. Allegiances. And here's your, your walker subset. Now there are a total of nine sorry, ten allegiances sets. And there is a total of 10 of the walkers. And then you got adversaries and no safe haven. Well, there are 12 of the adversaries. And there are 9 of the no safe havens. These are all subsets. Uh, another subset is the weapon subsets. Which are pretty cool. And there are 12 of the weapons. Now these are additional uh, costume relic cards. These are called bat relics. And these are costume relics. Commemorative costume relics. Uh, these are the butcher cards. I guess if anybody remembers the butcher. They're apparently pieces. Um, let's pull out one of these bat cards. Here, 
they are thick. <laughs> uh, really strong, tough. Uh, and a piece of the bat. Now I don't know if that's considered a piece of Negan's bat. I don't think so. It's inspired by Negan's bat, Lucille. But really cool card. Uh, now on to the costume relics. They're the same idea. Thick cards, piece of costume in there. Now, it, I'm not sure if they're actual pieces or not, but it doesn't say it's inspired by. It says you have received an aesthetic relic card. So, you know, I don't know. Is that possibly a piece of her clothing? That'd be pretty cool if it was. So, you know, you got a little piece of everybody's clothing in here. Um, to overall sum it up, Walking Dead Evolution, A plus on top's end. I'd give it a 10 out of 10. They did a really good job. Uh, I was lucky enough to pull out uh, Blood Red Glen Ray Bat Relic. Uh, which I sold for a good buck online, but it made somebody really happy. Um, anyways, any questions about these cards or any other cards, feel free to comment, like, subscribe. And uh, hopefully I could help you with figuring out how many cards are in the set. I know you could just go online to find the checklist, but sometimes people just seem to have a hard time. I know I did. Well, anyways, thanks for your time, and that's a little bit more of this and that.